My name is Jeffrey Davis. Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. Uh, it is not unusual in this firm to uh, interview attorneys from the uh, law firm of Roberto, Israel, and Weiner. We're good friends with the firm. And our next attorney, an estate attorney, the, my favorite type of attorneys, is Deborah Peckett Quinlan. Quinnan. Quinnan, correct? Yes. Sorry, Quinnan. I apologize. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit, uh, Deborah, about your practice? Well, I have a terrific practice. Thanks very much, Jeff, for having me on the show today. I'm a trust and estate attorney. I've been at this for almost 30 years, believe it or not. It'll be 30 years in September. Right. And my practice focuses on estate planning, trust administration, estate administration, primarily for business owners, executives, retired business owners, retired executives, and all manner of other individuals. People have varying needs in terms of their family dynamic that creates a lot of issues on the, in the estate planning process. For example, for business owners, I focus a lot on buy-sell agreements, making sure that there are sufficient liquid assets in the estate in the event of death or at the time of death ultimately to pay any estate taxes. So that there isn't a fire sale in the business. Exactly. Right. And so that the business isn't disrupted in terms of um, having to go through the probate process. Let's say that a business is going through a sale at the time that the primary stockholder dies and proper planning hasn't been done the stock would have to pass through the probate process, which means that it would be frozen, at least for some period of time. And that might be a very, very critical period of time in terms of the sale. Are there particular areas that you think that, uh, let's say, business or people who've created some wealth that they typically always don't look at? Well, I think one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen people make is procrastinating in terms of getting their estate planning done. We're all extremely busy, and many people feel that they're not quote-unquote rich. So why do they need an estate plan? Maybe they have a startup business. Maybe they haven't sold a business yet. Maybe they don't have a significant amount of other assets. Well, there's two reasons that, are, that make it very, very important not to procrastinate, especially for a business owner. The first reason is because if you haven't made your will, Massachusetts has written your will for you. This is called the intestacy law. And the, the intestacy law covers any assets that aren't covered by your will. You know, a lot of families, I assume, that have to deal with their financial estate planning and financial planning, what they really need is therapy. <laughs> uh, uh, do you find yourself uh, getting involved in some of those things? I do. I do. And it, it's actually therapy in a positive sense, maybe, as opposed to a negative sense. Because what I'm really doing is when I have the initial estate planning interview with clients, I'm trying to build trust with them so that they feel free to confide in me certain things that are of concern to them as parents. Maybe they're concerned about their children. Maybe they're concerned about their parents. Maybe they're concerned about a sibling. If they don't trust me, they're not going to open up. And if they trust don't- Trust is always the key. It's key, it's key. So when I, when I get clients to open up about various issues, what I'm really doing is I'm trying to issue spot so that I can ask them questions about how to design documents, what types of insurance policies may be able to be put in place for a dependent sibling, for example. There is a lot of creativity that can go into this process if I take the time and if the clients give me the time to really get to know what their personal family circumstances are. We talked a little bit about you know current developmental things. Next three to five years, what do you think business owners need to be looking at? I think they need to be looking at the growth of their business assets. The um, economy seems to be turning around. There have been some very positive news reports lately. And when I see something like that, I'm looking at the potential for people to shift the appreciation in their assets into trusts in a proactive fashion. 